Welcome back, everyone. I have a very special guest, Pete Nashak from Synaptic, who will dive into all of the things that they're doing with visual sensory motor training and all of the research that they put out. But thank you so much for joining me today, Pete. Love being here. Thank you for having me, Andrew. And full disclosure, this is the first time I've met Pete. So it's very <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, how my relationship with Synaptic has started is every year we have our National Athletic Trainers Association convention, and that's once a year every summer. And unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for you guys, we have visited your booth and come to know Herb and Ryan, some of your colleagues very well. And you always have a challenge for that week of NATA and you're giving away strobes. So how I came about to learn about your products and company is that every year we we're so competitive. We go visit your station and we're bothering Herb and Ryan and they're seeing all of these Hawaii guys come, come up and do this challenge. And actually we won two strobes from you guys and we use it in the clinic pretty much daily. But that's the, that's the story of how I got to learn more about Synaptic and you guys are doing a great job. Before we get, dive into all of the things that you are working on, let's start a little bit about your background. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you've developed this through the years and what made you become one of the CEOs at Synaptic? So I'm actually just yeah one of the co-founders of the company. And uh, I mean, vision science has been around for a long time. Uh, vision performance science, really, if you want to put it that way. So it's it's been there. It's been something that has been investigated for decades. And it used to take a whole room full of equipment to try and do some of the things that our equipment does right now to assess people, to train them, to get them better. And, and like, for example, strobe concepts were in big rooms, big black rooms with white lights flashing to get people to do things like, like, like even Jordan, right? Like that's, uh, and we saw that in some of the specials there and how he started incorporating that for different reasons, but then it also became a performance tool. So this science has been around. It's been, it, it's been analog and we really wanted to just take it and digitize it and make it more accessible to everyone, right? You don't have to be elite performer. You don't have to be top military. You want to have this stuff available to anyone who needs it. So that's really kind of the evolution of why we went into it or the, the idea around it is we all should be training vision in some way. It's beneficial from children all the way up to the elderly. There's value in it. Elite performers to everyday people. I got wrapped into it through just, I came out of the service. I was in the SEAL teams for 21 years. I started working in the performance space with, with big companies and different groups like Red Bull and Nike. And, and then I, I, I got tied into the idea of vision training and vision um, performance. And then I got pulled into the company and, 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 we, and we spun this out and co-founded this, this idea of Synaptic of trying to take these tools that had been getting developed and making them better and more accessible. Yes. And what's interesting about your team, uh, all of the co-founders is that you all have unique backgrounds that kind of blend together in just the perfect, perfect cohesiveness to create this company and this product. And I know Herb as well. He said that he has worked for Nike as well with, when they were starting some of the strobe technology. So with all of your blend of expertise, how has that kind of evolved through the years and was that the right thing that needed to happen in order for Synaptic to start? It definitely is a blend of our of our backgrounds. Like, uh, I mean, obviously Herb has a performance engineering background. We have an MIT grad as our CEO who has a, a big engineering background there, but also a Stanford business graduate. And then we have a professor that focuses on 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 concussion and issues with with brains and and what's happening there and then i really come in with the performance background of just doing things in the field i'm a field operator i have some good education i have some good experiences that help understand how we can employ things and why they're important in different spaces so that blend and the team is just a really good functional co-founding team that brings a lot of different expertise that, that, makes, that makes sense with this space. Mm -hmm. 